Hey, what's going on, guys? My name is CarQ, and today we're joined by the very deep voiced Arisa player, Evil Toaster. Hello, I am Evil Toaster. I am primarily play tanks, but I'm mostly known for my Arisa. We're going to be bringing you one Orisa tip versus every hero. And of course, we always begin with a general tip. A general tip to help you secure kills as Orisa is to use halt above enemy heroes if possible. There are situations where a side or ground pull is better, but the high angled pulls is the best option in most scenarios because it locks enemies in two linear movements, a straight line to the halt and a straight line falling down, compared to one linear movement when pulling to the side or below. It also makes it much easier for you to properly track and deal high amounts of damage to the target. With that out of the way, let's get started. Arissa was literally built by Eevee to defeat Doomfist, so she gave her Fortify to make her effectively immune to all of Doomfist's abilities. If you see Doomfist trying to land a combo on you, harden yourself like a Metapod and use Halt to pull him in place if he tries to escape. Only his Rocket Punch will reliably escape Halt's range, so if he doesn't have it, he is liable to get pulled. Genji can deflect Arissa's Halt, so aim the Halt at the ground or detonate it early in the space around Genji to keep him close range. If Genji uses Dragon Blade, pulling Genji away from his target can deny him a reset, leaving him immobile and lowering the effectiveness of his ult. Orisa is one of the easier heroes in the game to land headshots on, which makes McCree a deadly opponent if you don't have your barrier available. If you find yourself in a situation where McCree can land free shots on you, it is better to stop shooting and run to cover at full speed instead of retreating while firing back, since you will move at half speed while shooting. This tip can apply to many matchups where you need to evade damage, but it's especially important against McCree. Orisa is one of the few tanks with range to threaten Pharah, but projectile weapons are very inaccurate against her. If you can coordinate with your DPS overlords, throw a halt in Pharah's general direction and call for them to focus her. Even inaccurate weapons can hit a Pharah being pulled into a fixed point in the air with halt, and if multiple teammates focus Pharah for the easy shots, she could be killed even with a pocket healer. As with most tank matchups versus Reaper, it is important to keep your distance. If Reaper is attempting to walk through your barrier, throw halt and detonate it behind Reaper to keep him on the opposite side. This way you might deter Reaper from fighting or force out his wraith form without having to blow fortify, which is a much more important cooldown. Make it a priority to pull Soldier off high ground if you aren't running vertically mobile heroes on your team that can contest him, such as D.Va, Winston, or Genji. An uncontested Soldier on high ground can single-handedly win a teamfight, so it is important to keep an eye on him if he nears an edge. If you know Sombra is about to use EMP, you should immediately use Fortify, as the effect will persist after the hack. If you deploy a shield, it will be destroyed by EMP. So throw a shield directly straight up in the air before EMP happens, and it will land shortly after. The projectile Larissa throws cannot be destroyed by EMP, so it will land with a full shield even if you get EMP'd before it lands. If you need to do this faster, bounce the shield against a wall or a ceiling, and it will land quicker. Arissa is entirely defenseless against Tracer in a 1v1 scenario, so never try to take the fight to her. Your weapon is too unreliable against Tracer's mobility and small hitbox, so it's often a waste of bullets if she's aware you're targeting her. Instead, focus on tanking if Tracer tries to attack you, and only focus her if she's attacking allies nearby. If you need to defend against Tracer, the best strategy is to huddle yourself in a corner and make a shell shield to perfectly cover your hitbox with no gaps. On defense, use Halt to pull deployed Bastions off moving payloads to mildly inconvenience them. This can give your team some time to close distance and keep Bastion from setting up again. In situations where Bastion is deployed at an angle you can't easily halt, you can throw a shield in front of his face to block damage no matter where he is shooting, instead of only shielding yourself. Besides blocking Scatterer with your barrier or fortify, you should look to pull Hanzos off of their high ground perch. The moment you do, lead your shots upwards as soon as they react, because most Hanzos will instinctively start wall climbing back up. Junkrat is one of the best heroes for damaging Orisa's barrier, so it's very important to understand basic defensive Orisa positioning rules when facing him. Essentially, you should always try to play around physical terrain to hide behind in case your barrier breaks early. If you play too far away from a wall to hide behind, your barrier can get destroyed faster than you expect, and you'll die on your way to safety. This is especially important against Junkrat, but applies to any team comp with high shield damage. Fortify is your only way out of May's freezing abilities, and good May players will always keep track of your Fortify cooldown, so be very aware of when you can save it and when you need to use it. If you ever do get frozen by May, try to quickly turn around and look down to avoid being headshot. 
Torbjorn's turret will permanently stay locked onto the first target it sees until it breaks line of sight, or gets out of range. As Orisa, you should always try to draw aggro from the turret, then stay behind your barrier so your team can fight freely without worrying about it. Against Widowmaker, suppression fire, or simply firing a few bullets in her general direction no matter how far away she is, is one of the best counters to her. It forces her to reposition and demand healing, and any damage will throw off their aim. Diva players often fly into defensive setups to displace and boop enemies around, but you can avoid the knockback with Fortify and continue holding the front line. In 1v1s, save your Fortify for when micro missiles come out, and barrier dance as best as possible. The best way to outplay an Orisa is to catch them without cooldowns, and push aggressively past their shield with a shield of your own. If they don't have Fortify, don't be afraid to take a headshot duel. Reinhardt is very vulnerable to halt. Use it to displace his charge, or simply to keep him from closing distance to force him to burn more shield life. Fortify makes you immune to both charge and earth shatter, so use it to react to Rein's shatter plays and body block him from charging an ally. When Roadhog cooks an ally, use your halt and pull him just before he fires to throw off his aim and save them. The most important tip to counter Winston's dive is to use halt as he lands from his leap to hold him in place and keep him from being in range of his targets. Aggressive Zaryas will extend with their self bubble to gain energy, but the bubble will go down before they're in cover. Throw a halt at the ground just before the bubble ends to pull her back into range and she'll be an easy target. Against Anna, use Fortify to block sleep darts and deploy barriers to react to long range grenade throws. But other than that, this matchup isn't very interactive. When playing against Lucio, make sure to never stop firing because it will reduce your knockback distance. If you have to reload, be sure to back away from areas where you could fall off the map. Try to predict where Mercy is going to Guardian Angel, and use Halt to keep her in place. You can also use it to cancel Rez by pulling her out of range. Symmetra has a very tiny hitbox, so only duel her with Halt to hold her still for easy shots. It is also important to actively dodge her charged secondary fire orbs to deny her ultimate charge, since Orisa is relatively immobile. Focus on using your barrier to tank instead of fortify, so Moira can't build her healing resource off of you. Orisa can also use Halt to catch Moira's fade, and she can get pulled while traveling if the Halt is already attached to her. Zenyatta is very easy to kill with Halt tracking, which is using the general tip mentioned earlier in the video to pull him upwards and have him fall down linearly. Additionally, try to pull him away from his teammates or even off the map during his transcendence so he can't heal. Thank you, YouTube Overwatch Overlord CarQ, for having me. You can find me on Twitch at twitch.tv slash evil toaster.